Have you ever wondered when you'll be able to start writing your own codes? In this video, I'm going to show you the very first step on how to do that. Hi, welcome to Bioinformatics for All. If it's your first time here and you want to learn R, start by subscribing to my channel so you don't miss anything. Okay, so your first step on how to write your own code is to learn how to create functions. In this video, I will show you how to create two functions. First one will calculate the percentage increase or decrease, and the second one will calculate the standard deviation. So what is function? Function is a set of instructions created by the user, me, you, or any other professional, to carry out certain tasks. So imagine it as a user manual. You write your task inside the user manual and you give it to the machine to execute your task. So in our previous videos, we use function to create vectors, matrices, and lists. But before we move on to create functions, I want to introduce you to the help function. Help function is very helpful when you want to inquire about other functions in R. So if we go to R Studio, and for example, we can type help, Let's inquire about matrix function and let's hit the enter key. And as you can see here, under help section, everything you need to know about matrix, how to create the arguments, details, and some examples. So if you want to know anything about specific function, just use the help function and put your function name inside round brackets and hit the enter key. To create a function, we need to have two essential components, function name and function body. Function name is to name function so you can recall it later. For function body, it's where you write your instruction, what you want to do when you call that function. So sometimes you need to have inputs, so you will have function arguments, and sometimes your function will return a value and sometimes it won't. So if you want the return value, you can add it in your function. So in exercise one, we will calculate the percentage increase and decrease. So the codes, they are in the description. You can copy them and paste them in your R script. So here we assign a vector of three numbers to treatment, and we assign a numeric number to the control. So our function name is percentage. We have two input, x and y, and this is our instruction. We are telling R, take these two numbers and apply this equation to it and give me the result. So this is now a function in R called percentage. So now I'm going to call percentage. I'm going to use it. So what I need to do is I need to write percentage and between two round brackets, I will write my two input value, treatment and the control. So let's go to R studio. Here in exercise one, first we are going to create our function here. So we can run it here. And now we have this function stored in R. Now let's assign our vector to treatment. And let's assign our numeric number to control. And now we will uh, use the function. And let's run it. And as you can see here, the percentage is in minus. It means decrease. And here is positive, which means increase. So here there is 23% decrease, 15% increase, and 130% increase. So in this example, we are going to calculate the standard deviation. So we will have the function name here, the function argument, and the function body here, and also we can print the outcome. So here in exercise 2, again the codes they are in the description, we are going to create our function, then we are going to assign a vector to data, and now we will recall the function, our function called STD, standard deviation, and calculate the standard deviation of these data. So if we have a closer look at this equation, we use square root function, sum function, mean function, and length function. So if you know how to calculate the standard deviation on the paper, you can just transfer that into R language to create your code. So let's go to R Studio and run this code. So first let's create our standard deviation function. Then let's assign these five numbers to x. And after that, we use the standard deviation function we just created and calculate the standard deviation. And it's 4.56. Also, there is additional exercise for you to do it by yourself. It's 
how to create standard deviation function and name the outcome so by using the list uh, function we learned last video so I decided to divide this function video into two the first one we just did is about how to create function and the second one will be the next video about the function that already exists in R how to install and use them so that's it for me today thank you so much for watching